What is going on ladies and genitals, Yodi Slay here, bringing you a short little Borderlands 2 video for you guys. It's been a long time since I've done one of these, so I apologize if I'm going to lack in this. I just got back from vacation a few days ago. I'm trying to get back into the swing of these things, and I wanted to show you guys these new ancient relics in Borderlands 2. If you're unfamiliar what these are, this is after the update where it increased your level up to 61. You've got the third playthrough known as the Ultimate Vault Hunter mode, and then it introduced the Prolescent Weapons. Now, I had no idea that these what I guess you could say E-Tech relics were in the game. Had no idea. I was playing through this morning for the first time, you know, since the update. And I ended up getting this. I was like, sweet. I tweeted it out. People were like, yeah, that's a new ancient relic. That's pretty cool, man. And then a lot of people were actually like, dude, where did you get that? I've never seen one of those. So I figured I would make a video for you guys and kind of talk about this thing. Now, if you're unfamiliar with these E-Tech relics, the ancient relics, there's going to be four of these. There's going to be the bone like I had there. There's going to be the heart of the ancients the blood of the ancients and the skin of the ancients there's going to be four of these leave in the comments if you know what happens if you know if you've got a four player party and each player is wearing one of these relics leave in the comments if you do know for sure what that will actually accomplish for you guys because i'm i'm assuming it's going to be like the other seraph um you know stuff like that if all if all the players are wearing it something special has got to happen and i'm curious to know what that is now, if you want to farm for these things, you can actually farm for these. I'm not going to cover it in a video. A buddy of mine, Master Kids, actually made a very thorough, thorough tutorial for this. It's actually exact, the exact same video I did where I was showing you guys how to farm loot midgets a while back. But he's using that strategy to get these, you know, ancient relics and the new pearlescent weapon. So I'm going to put his video in the description of this video. Uh, so you guys can go over and check that out. Like I said, I'm not going to cover it unless people really want me to. Um, you know, I don't want to try to seem like I'm copying him and showing him the exact same thing or whatnot. But right there you can see, that is where you're going to actually get a lot of these Iridian. Or, what do I keep saying Iridian? That's where you're going to get a lot of these E-Tech... Uh, Whatever, the ancient relics and the new pearlescent weapons. Now, what these legendary loot midgets are, they can just spawn randomly out of any chest in the game. And I really think it's cool that Gearbox did this because, you know, when you play normally, you rarely ever open up the chest. But now you actually have that incentive to go open up these chests because you never know a pearl, you know, you might get a legendary loot midget and, you know, you might end up with a pearlescent weapon or one of these ancient relics. Um, but you've seen the legendary loot midget jump out there. He's not really hard to take out. I've been beasting it up so far with my, you know, I did my pistol build with my gun zerker uh, just a couple weeks ago, and that's all I've been using. I've been tearing through this third playthrough. Um, but if you want to know how to farm for these and farm for these legendary loot midgets, you know, watch Master Kid's video in the description. Um, but yeah, for those guys wondering what these ancient relics are, there you have it. Mine was the bone of the ancients. Really nothing special. I'm going to keep it on me just to, you know, just to say I have it. I would definitely rather have a level 61, but I did get it as I was a level 50. But, you know, leave in the comments if you know what happens if each player is wearing one of the other. And uh, I would really like to know that. But until then, I'm going to go work on this. I'm trying to get these pearlescent weapons for you guys. As soon as I get my first one, you will know because I will start up my Borderlands 2 Pearl Weapons. Pearlescent Weapons. I said that wrong. Pearl Weapons. I don't know. You, you, you get my point. I'm just going to go bang my head off the wall for a little bit. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.